This is the story of Lewis Johnson. He went by the name of El Sav and was from the South London area. On the 27th of January 2020, Lewis was travelling home to his mother's house in South Norwood. He entered the East Croydon train station through the Ruskin Square ticket barrier. When he got to the platform, there he bumped into rival Keon McKenna, who was also 16 and had lived in the Tooting area all his life before moving to New Addington. The two had encountered each other three or four times previously over the last few years, but on this occasion it would prove to be fatal. Lewis, who was with his friend, spotted Keon. He shouted out, yo! Both Lewis and Keon were armed. And according to Keon, as he slowed down, he noticed Lewis reach for his waistband. At this point, he too decided to reach for his knife. He stabbed Lewis in the chest before running out of the station, which was captured by CCTV. He fled to Chichester before eventually handing himself into the police. Whilst in custody, he was told any phone calls he made would be recorded and monitored, but he couldn't resist himself. Whilst on the phone to his friend, he told him there was CCTV, but not of what actually happened. So God is looking out for me right now. He then decided to rap about the killing over the phone. The lyrics were, push it in his chest. Too bad he weren't wearing a rest. I left the crime scene, El Sav was hurting. What do you know about lurking, blood purging? Shank them, push a metal in his chest like a surgeon. El Sav was six foot and now he's six feet deep. El Sav, his soul left his body. Big 2-7 pushed through his guts. We thrust them shanks as they ain't virgins. Push it in the guts, keep them squirting. He also wrote out the lyrics which were left in his cell, which the police later found. During trial, he said he had problems with people from Clapham Junction as he was from Tootin. He was getting threats from them about they're gonna stab him. That's the reason why he carried knives. He pleaded not guilty on the grounds of self-defense, but was found guilty and sentenced to life in prison with a minimum of 16 years.